Hello, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. So I noticed something recently while uploading videos to YouTube. I've had a slight color preference for green and white. The best way to rectify that, I thought, was by playing a deck built around none other than the Grixis master himself, Nicol Bolas. And here is the deck. I'm going to be running this through a few games today. I'm going to talk briefly about it and then jump into those games. The deck is pretty simple. We start off with a little bit of hand disruption with Inquisition of Kozilek and Thoughtseize. We have Cling to Dust that provides a little bit of life gain, also some card draw. Expressive Iteration gives us access to more cards. We have a whole bunch of removal spells in this column right here, and then we have our win conditions right here. Over in the sideboard, we are playing one copy of Zerda as our companion. This card's ability works really well with Scarab God and Nicol Bolas the Ravager to turn it into the Planeswalker side. A little bit of hand disruption, a little bit of graveyard hate, Chandra, who doesn't love Chandra, Aether Gust to fight against Gruul decks, Mystical Dispute if we need some counter magic, and Anger of the Gods as a sweeper. That's the deck. Gonna try it out and see how it goes. See you over in the games. All right, time to rock some Nicol Bolas in Historic. Best of three. Here we go. This is actually a deck that I have been waiting to play for quite some time. I crafted another version of the deck oh, about a month ago, and it was pretty fun. But uh, this one I saw yesterday, it looked pretty sweet. Knew I had to give it a shot. All right, opening hand, we have some removal and then a little bit more removal and even more removal. You know what? Going into it blind, I think it's probably going to be okay to try it out. Let's just hope the opponent is in fact on something we can use these cards on. Only one black source in the opening hand though, so could get a little, a little iffy, especially if I don't find that second black source for the ritual sit on turn four if they have a super aggressive start. Cool, opponent is probably on Jeskai. So the bans have gone through. Uh, you know that I am always a little ahead on my videos. So the bans did happen probably about a week ago now because this is going to be Wednesday's video, definitely a week ago. This deck no longer has memory lapse, so they have been playing the Malevolent Hermit in their deck. Probably going to be okay. So, non-creature spells can't be countered, and it gets exiled now. Let's go take a look in their hand, see what they're playing with. Oh. Okay. Well, they only have one blue source, so I can probably leave them with the disallow, although that is a pretty good card. That's going to take a while to get to. That's going to take a while to get to, and this thing is going to be miserable if it resolves... But I do have a Blood Chief's Thirst. Mm. I think I'm going to get rid of the Blood... Uh, Dread Trawler. Dread Trawler? That's not what it's called. Dream Trawler. And we'll also take care of the Geist, I suppose. Why not? Maybe that was a little hasty. Maybe I should have saved the Culligan's Command to deal two damage to it and remove it that way. Well, they are struggling. So I'm going to put Zerda into hand and hope they don't hit a blue source with this Thrill of Possibilities. I would really love to nail this Nicol Bolas to the field next turn. Mm. Okie doke. Well, I guess that's not going to happen now. I will instead just play out the Zerda. Sure. Maybe they'll try to counter it with the Disallow. Cool. All right, so put out these steam vents past the turn and hope they tap out this turn so I can get Nicol Bolas onto the field. They didn't. So maybe it's time for this Nicol Bolas. Yeah, let's do that. It resolves. Pretty sweet. And if I draw a land and it survives, I can just flip this into the Planeswalker side next turn. They get rid of the Emergent Ultimatum. Hmm. This is a pretty sweet looking deck that the opponent is on. Although, that is green. So are they on a four color deck? Maybe? Five colors? <laughs> and yeah. Yeah, green and black. So this is a five color deck. 
the opponent has brought something interesting to the field. Oh, are they going to double Prismari Command, the Nicol Bolas Anger of the Gods, to finish it off? Sure thing. Well, I get to jam this card now, and that'll be pretty awesome. Oh, almost. Unfortunately, don't have the Black Source. But even if they put out the Dread General, I can destroy it with this. But this is fine. We'll just get rid of it. Do this. This is pretty, pretty mean. Oh, they choose to get rid of that. Nice. What I was thinking about doing is Culligan's command on their upkeep to get them to discard that card and also kill the Hermit, but they just help us out and exile it on their own. Okay, well, let's attack in with the Ravager. This feels pretty oppressive. Do this. They're going to have to start getting rid of lands or discarding from their hand. Okay. My scenes are never ending. Put this into hand, into the deck, and then exile that. Sure. I guess I could upkeep Coligan's command, just get rid of that. Yeah. Wow, that felt pretty oppressive. If I can get some of these bolus cards onto the field, things are going to go real well. Now, I don't really know what the opponent is actually up to, but I feel like bringing in some amount of counter magic and duress is probably going to be okay. Okay, going to bring in three copies of Mystical Dispute, get rid of the two Ritual Soot, and one copy of a Coligan's Command, and uh, see how that goes. All right, so Scare of God showing its ugly face. Um, you know what? I think this is fine. A little bit light on lands, which sucks, but the turn one thought sees I think is going to be worth keeping. There's the Mizzix Mastery, which is what I was afraid of. I think it's got to be that, right? Probably should have brought the duresses in now that I'm thinking about it. There was no reason not to put those into the deck. Okay, so let's kill the Malevolent Hermit. And then, do I want to cling to dust this? How much of a problem is this 2-2 flying creature? I do have counter magic in the deck, but... You know what? I think I'd rather just not... No. I'm going to hold it. I think it's too important to maybe deal with a Mizzix Mastery later on or you know, something along those lines. They did not find anything, though, so that is pretty brutal. Probably just going to hold up the Coligan's Command. Their deck definitely seems to be betraying them. They are a five-color deck, so... Sure. That's fine. So they can discard. We'll kill this, and that'll be that. This looks new. The coloration on Polygon Command. I don't play a whole lot of that card, so I don't exactly know. But I'm going to put this in untapped, hold up the Drown in the Lock, and then also the Cling to Dust on the Emergent Ultimatum. Kind of feels like they're going to they're aiming for a land plus... Mizzix Mastery here. Maybe not the case. Okay. So I'm just going to get rid of the Emergent now. While I can. Okay. That's an okay draw. Because now I can go take a look in their hand. And see if the way is clear for this Ravager. I wonder if anybody else would have just jammed the Scare of God in that position. So they're drawing two cards and creating a treasure. 
I don't know. Do you do that into the Inquisition? I guess because it's Inquisition, it's three or less. You can keep some pretty potent cards in your hand. But I think I probably would have left that. Okay. Okay, okay. Big problem. Because the... Oof, oof. Uh, Drowning the Lock is not going to be super effective against these cards here. It'll be okay against the Dream Trawler. All right, I have no choice. Get rid of that. Now the question is, they have five cards. How does this read? Counter target spell with mana value less than or equal to. So if they play out a land and get the Dream Trawler down or the Torrential Gearhulk, my Drown in the Lock is not good. So it just has to be Nicol Bolas, make them discard one of them, and then hope they don't hit the land to flashback Mizzix's Mastery, although it's not that big of a deal. Oh, they missed the land. Okay, okay. So, that means they have still five cards in the graveyard. Hmm. I could make them discard with Nicol Bolas again, but I think it's probably just best to get old Bugface onto the field and just hopefully take over the game with Scarab God. If they're not able to do anything this turn, Scare of God's activated ability is going to make things very difficult for them. All right. Oh, this actually feels all right playing some Grixis here. <laughs> hmm. All right, so they used up that, but the Goldspan Dragon does give them six mana for the next turn. Maybe I should have... Maybe I should have done something with the Scarab God there. Why would you block Bolas and not the Scarab God? It's just more powerful. They have five cards in there, in their Mickey, uh, meaning that I can get rid of the school band, Gold Span Dragon. Well, I can't speak at all. Um, I can't do this because I don't have five other cards. So it might just be killing the Goldspan Dragon. They'll be at six, though, so their Dream Trawler will certainly be able to enter the field next turn. But then I just Torrential Gearhawk, bully it. Yeah, okay. Let's let's destroy this. Set an up, upkeep stop. May as well put this into hand. And uh, yeah, see how it goes. This is uh, <laughs> really outside of my wheelhouse, that's for sure. Oh, I see why. I, yeah, okay. Oh, Dream Trawler's lifelink. Why does the Dream Trawler have to have lifelink? Okay, so I can use the activated ability, get the... I can just get the Sarah's Emissary. And it says, you and creatures you control. Yeah, oh, that's a pretty cool kill. So pro creatures, do a little bit of damage, leave that on top, why not? Draw a card and attack in for nine. Good old Sarah's Emissary, busted. Whew. All right, that's pretty cool. I love getting getting a Scarab God win with the Sarah's Emissary. <laughs> so stupid. Next one. All right, match number two against <laughs> we are against Nicole Bolas for match number two, playing Nicol Bolas, and our opening hand would look super sweet if we just had one more land. Unfortunately, I'm not going to keep that. Okay, going to throw away, I think, the Dragon Skull Summit. Go out with the Watery Grave and see what the opponent is up to. Hopefully, they are also playing Bolas. That would be a pretty awesome showdown. Last opponent was a little bit slow. This opponent is appearing to be quite slow as well. I wonder what that's all about. I did see on some Reddit posts that um, people were finding that the servers were not as snappy or something was wrong with login over the weekend or on Friday night. I'm not sure. I didn't read the post, but I saw the title. I'm wondering if there have been some problems. I haven't been playing too, too much. Um, 
been doing some other things. I, I mean, again, work as always. I try to record all on Saturdays, plan stuff throughout the week where I can do little you know, practices here and there. And then on the weekend, I can just play a bunch. Unfortunately, this morning I got called into work early, a little bit of an unexpected 9 a.m. message from the coworker saying, hey, can you cover my stuff for today? Which I did, it's not a big deal, but threw, threw off things just a little bit. So they're not on any kind of counter magic. This Nicol Bolas hits the field and just sticks. But they do have the heartless act for it. <laughs> Nicol Bolas recognizing that I'm playing Nicol Bolas as well. Cool. Uh, not very cool though, because they are in a bit of a better position than I am. I can't really do anything against this. They have two cards in the bin for Drown in the Lock, but I don't know. Maybe this Cole against Command's got to do a lot. I don't think it's really great in this matchup. I can't get my Nickel Bowls back and make them discard a card, though. That might be the most efficient way to use this card. Okay. Card resolves. Cool. They get rid of... So they're just on a pure Dragon's deck. I like the opponent's style. All right, Nikki B, hit the field. Maybe eat another removal spell. A shock. So the opponent thinking the same thing. They're two damage spells and not going to get much value. Really got to hope this Terror of the Peaks doesn't hit the field. That thing is going to be annoying. So hemorrhaging, hemorrhaging life a little bit. Uh, yeah. Okay. Kill Nicol Bolas. Now six cards in the graveyard. So if they don't find the land here for the Terror of the Peaks, I can maybe utilize the Drawn in the Lock. That's, yeah, that's a cool little card. Just a little bit of reach. You know what? I'm just going to go out with the other Bolas. Keep chipping away at their hand, hoping they don't hit that land off the top. And then Scarab God for the following turn. Oh, okay. So they, they're on a little bit of a budget base here. So do I sacrifice? I think I have to sacrifice the Nicol Bolas, unfortunately. I don't really want to take that much more damage. But what I will be doing is holding up the Drown of the Lock this turn. And also the Cling to Dust. Okay. So do I want to Cling? Sure. I want to draw a card. Hmm. I think I prefer... The Scarab got here because it's just going to kind of take over the game. That was probably supposed to be on black. But that's okay. Hopefully they didn't find any way of removing Bugface. I'm always going to call this Bugface. A friend I used to play Magic with uh, would call it that. Got to honor that. So let's get the Terror of the Peaks from their graveyard. Cool. cool. That that worked out so well. I can't believe my luck right now. This deck is just firing on all cylinders. So, exile target creature from graveyard. I can get their Nicol Bolas next turn, probably. Crux of Fate. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. I'm not really sure which one is going to be better here if it's... Ooh, wow. If it is uh, 
the planeswalker or the scarab god but i feel like the scarab god's going to be a little bit more entertaining so we'll go with the scarab god they have double, double dragon's fire <laughs> and they exile it oh no okay good on your opponent good show good show nickel bolus to the field going to start eating their their lands that's absolutely brutal Okay. May as well see what's underneath these expressive iterations. Put that out. Oh, did I already play land this turn? Okay. Dum dum. Dum 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 dum. Okay. Plus on the bolus. Perhaps I should have played out Nickel Bolus first and then gone that way, but. That's the scrub I am. I don't know what I'm doing, after all. Okay, so. <laughs> Each point of sacrifice a creature, Planeswalker, then discards a card. You return creature card from your graveyard to your hand, then draw a card. Okay, so I can at least do something with Cling to Dust. So we'll sacrifice that. We'll... Discard. Oh, am I going to be able to respond to them choosing the card now? Or did I have to respond to that beforehand? Maybe it's already resolving. Oh, that's super cool. Okay. I mean, su super cool. Uh, <laughs> it sucked big time. <laughs> All right. Let's get rid of this crux of fate because it hurt my heart. So we can get rid of their Nickel Bolus again, make them get rid of a land, and just keep this dance going. Eventually I'll get up to the ultimate with old Nicky B here. My intellect is without limit. And now with the Drown in the Lock, I think it's going to be very hard for them to muster anything. However, there's still at 21 life. I haven't done anything. It's just been a complete back and forth, and they tap out. Oh, these decks are too hard for me to play. <laughs> wow. So what am I bringing in? Uh, is it going to be Relic of Progenitus? Do I care about their graveyard? Not that much, do I? Okay, so Chandra and Aether Gust are coming into the deck. Ritual Soot and Inquisition of Kozilek are out. I what? Oh, two Aether Gusts, Sorry, two Aether Gusts in, two Chandras in, and then four cards out. Let's see if things go as smoothly as they did in the first game. Really neat looking deck that the opponents on. I wonder if the bands that rolled out uh, last week have kind of shaken things up, made people reevaluate some things and try some new stuff. Hopefully that's the case. It's it's always cool to see people trying new things. You know, it sucks that the economy is the way it is and it's so hard to craft new things. You don't really want to take risks and craft something you're not going to play at all. By the way, gruel dinosaurs are coming up. <laughs> on that on that note, I should mention that. I have craft, crafted some useless rare dinosaurs and I'm definitely going to be trying out that tribe to see how they play. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Opening hand looks fine. I can get a turn one Thoughtseize with the pathway. And then just rip their hand apart, I guess. Go down a little bit of life, but that's going to be the name of the game. What is this card? Add two more mana of any combination of colors. Spend the mana only to cast dragons. Sacrifice the orb. Look for a dragon. All right, so it's going to be the Orb of the Dragon kind first. The opponent is on two lands, so getting rid of that kind of ramp source for their dragons is going to be a little bit crippling, I think. And then I can use this Coligan's Command to get rid of the Dragon Speaker. Probably what's going to end up happening. So I have Dragonfire, Lathless, and Heartless Act. Kind of between the removal, because if I do find 
a nickel bolus. I'm going to want it to stick on the field. So we'll get rid of the Heartless Act for now. This Dragon Fire might just be three damage, which is pretty bad against my deck unless they have something like the Dragon's Queen. <sighs> sure. Okay. Spitfire goes. Although that's pretty nasty, right? Whenever a dragon enters the battlefield under your control, pay one and return it to your hand. That's such a cool card. And it's an instant speed card. Just really, really good against what I have. Okay. So the cold against command, as expected, is going to pay off. They'll get rid of the shock, probably. And then if I can get them under the thumb of my stuff here. Ooh. Interesting. So they're worried about, like a nickel bolus they might not be able to deal with. They just figure they keep this and they can get rid of it. Okay. Now, do I want to... No, I think I put this into hand. I'm not too, too worried about them drawing a dragon off the top because they only have four mana open. So they're going to have to draw, like, land and a nasty creature. Although Nicol Bolas could have come down there. That would have been a little bit awkward. This card not exactly good though against the Dragon's Fire, but I can counter it with the Drown in the Lock. So if I put this out, I'll have... I don't, I don't actually, I can't even put it out. Oh, I could have put it out. Ah, oh, I'm a dumb dumb. Uh, can, pretend you didn't see that. I forgot that the requirement is double red on this one because we aren't playing any white. Little, little bit of a mistake there. You know, it happens. Oops. They are getting quite a bit of mana open. So I don't know if I want to actually use this Drown in the Lock to keep my Zerda alive. But it might happen. Because <laughs> they're most certainly going to dragon fire the Zerda. I think it's okay to do this. Oh. No, they're certainly going to do that, right? Okay, keep it around and hope they draw dead. I do have the Aether Gust, though, so if they do have a big red dragon coming off the top of their deck, I can at least delay it for a little bit. Maybe that was... Maybe I'm va valuing the Dawn Waker a little bit too much, but how much mana? Two, uh, two, four, six, sorry, seven mana. Okay, enter tapped. This card is so crippling to go against. Poor opponent. Okay. Yeah, so next turn we were gonna destroy one of their lands. They were gonna they would maybe draw the nickel bullets if they put it on top, and otherwise they're just playing off the top of the deck. It was a pretty sweet position for us. That's awesome. Two in a row with this deck. Move on to the third and final match. Alright, match number three with the Nicol Bolas. I did get involved in another match and I ended up having to run off in the middle of it. It was taking forever against like hard Demir control and it was just agonizing. So you know what? Take an L on that one and just move on with my life. So Blood Crypt to open up and we'll see what the opponent's on. I kind of want to use this expressive iteration, but I think I'm going to use it on turn three. I, I'm not a big fan of using this on turn two. Definitely want to benefit from that land situation. Uh, getting rid of the Prosperous Innkeeper and making them discard something does sound okay to me, though. Yeah. Let's do that. I hate this card. This thing always ends up being way more impactful on the course of the game than it ever should be. It's just, it's just a solid card. I'm really glad it's printed at Uncommon. You know, ramps you temporarily. 
gives you a kind of soul sister. Pretty sweet. So the opponent gets rid of an inscription of abundance. Nice. So what is the opponent up to? They get stuck on lands here. I'm definitely going to be killing that. No, they don't. So they still have three mana. Kind of... Could just be Nicobola's time. But what nasty things might they have coming down the line? So I could just drown the lock and then hold up the other drown on the lock for something nasty. Yeah. Four cards, three cards in there. So if they have a four draw, that's going to really suck. But I think, I think this might be okay. So if they have a four drop, it's going to really suck. Okay. I suppose I'm going to cling to dust one of my own things. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Let's go see what the opponent's doing with their hand oh oh hang on so two four six they'll have six mana what is this card inspiring commander whenever another creature with power two or less enters the battlefield under control gain a life and draw a card that's so neat it's six mana it's way over costed um but the synergy here is really cool so that's coming down next turn i have to i have to get rid of this I'm wondering if I have to... No, that's not going to work. Okay, Nickel Bowls. Get on the field. And then I just have to figure out a way to deal with the captain another way. It's definitely, definitely coming down this turn. Not captain, commander. Unfamiliar card for sure. Well, I like that. Yeah, I have no problem trading Yasharn for Bolas, especially since I put six cards in their graveyard and I can now drown the Inspiring Captain, if that's the case. I just, I don't want them drawing too many cards. This is the most attention the Inspiring Captain has ever received in its entire life. So, snap kill that. Uh, ooh. Okay. I don't have... Oh, darn. Okay. Well, this sucks. Uh, put this back in there put that in the graveyard or wherever it's going to get exiled yeah bye bye so they got two lands in hand what is this dungeon descent seeing just just unusual decks today wonder what's going on it is 5pm my time so kind of middle of the night for others Sure. Well, I have a swamp. Oh, hey. Bull is to the field. Can they get that forest out of their hand? Okay. And I guess hold up the Blood Chief's Thirst. That does absolutely nothing. But if they don't have a way of dealing with old Nikki B. What is that? What is going on? All right, cool, 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 cool. I guess we're racing. <sighs> yeah. We'll do this, and then I'm going to upkeep Coligan's command. Sorry, not... Pass to draw. Yeah, there we go. 
Okay. Just murder some of these 1-1s. One make them discard a Yasharn. Yes! And that's not very useful. This feels excessively cheesy, but it's what's happening. What did I get rid of? Um, a <laughs> Maja. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm the bad guy. I'm becoming the bad guy quite often, I find in my videos. Hmm. Well, hello, Bugface. Kind of want to hit my land here. All right. They do get a turn here. Lotus Cobra. It's fine. I think it's okay to do this. Draw a card, and they, I have a two turn clock on them. If I hit, I was thinking if I hit um, counter spell, I can just keep it open. Okay, Scarab Grab. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So the opponent playing a ton of little stuff. I feel like Anger of the Gods is okay. That They do have Leon and War Leader, the Inspiring Captain, Yasharn. Those things are pretty annoying to deal with. But I think they're a little bit better than the Ritual of Soot. Yes. So, they'll be better than Ritual. Yeah. Okay, so taking out two Inquisitions, taking out two Rituals, so bringing in two Chandras, two Anger, two Aether Gusts, and I think I'm also going to go down a single Cling to Dust, and also one Thoughtseize. I think that'll be fine. Try it like that. Do I think... You know what? I'm going to put in one more Ritual, so go down one Thoughtseize. Try it that way. I think the Anger of the Gods are probably going to hit a little bit better against their board, although they have a lot of creatures that dodge both. Oh, yeah. Looks fine to me. Oh, wait, no. I thought, I totally thought this Drown the Lock was a Demir land. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. I'll get lucky and find, well... Expressive Iteration can maybe find me my third land on turn three. I love it. Um, okay. Gonna hold off for now. Yeah, uh, this card is so awesome. I remember when I first started playing, it was one of my favorites. So if I do hit a land here, uh, now I gotta think, do I just anger? Yeah, how do I not anger this board away? Valley is lieutenant to the field. Um, okay. I was thinking about Coligan's command, but I think expressive iteration plus the blood chief's thirst is going to be probably better. Okay, put this into hand, into the deck, into the exile zone, and then I'll use this blood chief's thirst to kill the Thalia. Our deck definitely going to line up pretty well against what the opponent's up to. Do need, do need to find that land, though. A little bit of a nombo with Drown of the Lock and Anger of the Gods. Hmm. Okay. Creator of the deck being smart and putting in Swamps. Good. 
So I have a lot of options. Uh, I think I just like putting Nicol Bolas out onto the field, though. Even if they have a Yasharn next turn, I can hit it with Blood Chief's Thirst. There are options. Okay. Got lucky finding that second Black Source. Not going to lie about that. Five cards in the graveyard, and it is five CMC. Six cards in the graveyard now, and I can hold up my other Drown in the Lock. Pretty, pretty nasty. Cool cards, though. I really like... I remember seeing this card when it first came out in Kyle time. Definitely wanted to try it out, but never got around to it. So I could jam Nicol Bolas or the Scarab God, but I kind of feel like I just want this game to be over with. So I'm going to hold the Drown in the Lock up. Cole against Command is here too. Do I care about Yasharn? No. So got lethal on them with the double Cole against Command with the Nicol Bolas. Good on you, opponent. Well, don't be doing that. Do I just kill it? Yeah. All right, so this Nickel Bull deck feels pretty solid. I guess that's why a lot of people like playing it. Actually, I should put up a little picture here if I can find it. I, I've been clicking on, you know, those voting things on YouTube. You see them once in a while. And um, Original Magic Decks, I think it was, put up a thing. What's your favorite color? And of course, I clicked red. And red was something like 6%. All the other colors are more represented. Or people like the other colors than I like. More than I like them. Ah. <sighs> Maybe there's something to this black and blue stuff. Everybody seems to like Demir. All right, wrap up. All right, typical quick wrap up. Uh, this deck's awesome. It's super powerful. If you like playing Grixis, I think this is probably where you want to be. Uh, Nickel Bulls, super fun card. The Bulls Planeswalker is awesome too. It just takes over games. I absolutely love it. It would be fun playing it in a deck with more Planeswalkers because of that passive ability, but you really don't need it. I just kept plus wadding it the whole time, and it just... It, if you're ahead on the board or if you can get there through some of the removal that's in the deck, yeah, it just takes over the game. And then, of course, Old Bugface, Scarab God is super awesome. Uh, there are a lot of exile effects in this format, so it's not nearly as powerful as it was uh, in its heyday of standard, but it's still an awesome card. And it's just a one of it's really hard for a lot of opponents to deal with if they don't have that ideal removal type. Anyways, that's it for now. Thanks for making it to the end of the video if you're still here. Take care, and I'll see you on Friday. Bye-bye. Thank you.